Self-taught chef Damien Mandola has achieved celebrity status as one of the foremost authorities on Italian cuisine in the Southwest. A 1977 graduate with a major in radio and television, Mandola was a catcher on the Bearcat baseball team and worked as a DJ for the campus radio station while attending Sam Houston State. Acting on his passion for cooking, he opened Damien's Fine Italian Food in Huntsville his senior year. After graduating from Sam Houston State University, he enhanced his culinary talents and went on to many successful ventures, such as Nash D'Amico's Italian Restaurant, Damien's Cucina Italiana, the nationally acclaimed Carabas Italian Grill, and his current undertakings of Trattoria Lucina and Mandola's Italian Market. I was about to graduate. I had about 13 hours left, and there was a friend of ours, Nash D'Amico, who was more my brother's age, and they ran around together a lot. And Nash uh, was about finished, and we happened to be at a wedding in Houston, our hometown one time, and uh, he said, what are you gonna do when you graduate? I said, I have no idea. You know, my brother Tony Mandola, who was a Sam Houston graduate, had gotten in the restaurant business with his soon-to-be mother-in-law, Ninfa Lorenzo. They opened a restaurant called Ninfa's in Houston, very popular. So I, Nash and I said, well, let's do a, a restaurant. We can do it in Huntsville where we can cut our teeth. We'll do Italian food. We borrowed $2,500 from each of our parents, $5,000. And Nash and I opened Damien's Fine Italian Food on June 16, 1975 in Huntsville. And uh, my mother came and showed us how to make the meatballs and the sauce. You know, we were Sicilian, uh, the Sicilian heritage. And that's how we got started. Uh, I had been in business here for several years when Damien hit town. And there's a little hotel down here called the Sam Houston Hotel. And a friend of mine named Bo Cruz, he and his wife Deanne owned that hotel and they leased the little restaurant in it to Damien for his first restaurant here. And they had a little Sweet 16, they renamed the hotel from Sam Houston Hotel to Sweet 16. He had enough for 16 students to stay, you know, something like that. In any event, Bo and Deanne got my wife and I, and we went to the uh, uh, dinner one night there. And he said, I want you to meet uh, Damien. And he brought Damien out. And of course, Damien comes out just like he always is. You know, he doesn't know any strangers. And he can talk to anybody at any time for any length of time. And so uh, he was telling me about the place and what he was doing. And, and I, of course, being in the food industry, I was interested in what he was doing. And I was taken with his personality and his enthusiasm immediately. In, a, in the Italian culture, uh, our family is always number one. With us, family's one, number two, and a nine iron back is food. We grew up eating, loving, liking, our grandmother's cooking, our mother's cooking. And that's where Damien, you know, got all his stuff, you know, it from his mother. Damien opened, Damien's in Houston 31 years ago, 30, 31 years ago. He went on to do Carabas. While he was there, he decided a, a little casual place would be better. So he got with his nephew, Johnny Caraba, and they came up with, you know, the idea for Carabas. And the rest is history, Carabas is all over. Damien Mandola is also known worldwide as the co-host of PBS TV's popular cooking shows Cucina Amore and Cucina Sicilia with nephew Johnny Caraba and as the author of best-selling cookbooks. He and his wife Trina have also given generously to their community, raising more than $400,000 for the Burke Center Home for Boys in Driftwood and hosting fundraisers for the Ronald McDonald House and many other organizations. He also gave motivational speeches at two Elliot T. Bowers Honors College events. Let's talk a night of conversation. You can do what you put your mind to. And, you know, think about what you want to do. Set your goals. Never give up. Never say no. Never take no for an answer. And you have to work your tail off. Ladies and gentlemen, Please recognize Damien Mandola as a 2013 Distinguished Alumni.